Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Beer Sports Whatever. Beer Sports Whatever is proud to be a part of the podcast family at the Around the Block Podcast Network. I am Michael the Abrahamer Brown, joined by Pops. Pops, it's been a minute. How are you? Michael, felt like I haven't seen you in almost an hour. Yeah, it's it's a little awkward. Um, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff to do, man. It's Thanksgiving week. We've got NFL football. We've got college football to talk about. We've got Major League Baseball free agency. We've got – we're not going to talk about the Rockets because they're just god-awful. Um, and this is probably one of my more favorite shows of the year because about halfway through, we're just going to get into shenanigans of Thanksgiving and, like, Thanksgiving uh, etiquette, things that you prefer at Thanksgiving, what happens at Thanksgiving, that sort of thing. If you are tuned in right now, we are the most interactive podcast in the city of Houston. Drop us a comment, say hi. We'll literally bring your comment on the screen. If it's good, if it sucks, we're going to tell you it sucks, and we're not going to bring it onto the screen. Sorry, Sorry, Ryan. Okay, don't talk about Ryan like that. He didn't do anything to you. Uh, We've got Renee Brown in the house. Mom, hello. Good to see you. Um, Let's get to our beer of the week first. This is uh, Truly uh, Straw Raspberry Lime, I should say. So if anybody from Truly is listening to the show, this evening, I've got one of those in my Houston Astros cup. Uh, so slide into my DMs. As the kids say, they are wide open. Um, let's get to college football first, uh, since that happened yesterday. Congratulations on your 19th ranked University of Houston Cougars. Thank you. It is being pointed out by one Adrian McClure that that's not a beer. That's true. Uh, but that's why the whatever part of beer sports whatever comes into play. So thank you for the good catch, Adrian. Uh, you're uh, wishing me well on my uh, University of Houston? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, great win for the Cougars Friday night against Memphis. Championship game, either in Cincinnati or in Houston. Do you give the Cougars any sort of shot again? Uh, in related news, there was a tree that fell in the forest and no one saw it. Uh, it's a fall, so does it really, you know, does it really happen? Um, sorry about your horns. Your boys are struggling, man. That's a struggle bus. That's a hard struggle bus. Thank you for the sixth time in a row. Thank you. Well, here's the thing. I was talking to uh, I was talking to some buddies about this last night. I do give the University of Texas fan base credit for the fact that you guys don't take rebuilds or losing well. Like you guys just want to throw money at a problem and fix it. And I actually respect that. It's not my money. It's not your money. What do you care? Yeah, it's this is this is something that they've been going through since since Matt Brown left, and um, you know you keep changing coaches. Charlie Strong, you know, clown show. I thought Tom Herman was it. Um, after a while, you've got to look at the common denominators. And you got to start looking at the quality of athlete that they're bringing in, not in terms of skill set so much in terms of entitlement and, um, you know. It's coachability. Like you got to bring in guys that want to be coached and you guys don't have that. No, you, you don't, they want to be coached but they want to be coached on their time and at their convenience. Yep. And and it's not just at Texas. This is all over the place. That's why I think the transfer portal got created was so these little whiny babies can, you know, go suck on their thumbs somewhere else and let somebody else tell them how great they are. Okay. That's interesting. That's an interesting phrase you've never used on the show. Uh, around the association, Oregon showed who they really were and got their butts kicked by Utah. Absolutely. That's a great um, win. I love college football for games like that. It's, you know, it's a great it's a team race right now. It's Georgia and it's Ohio State. I don't know. Alabama's pretty good. Alabama's not bad. Not bad. But they're the second ranked team in the country. What do you mean they're not bad? I'm just looking at me and Ohio State is just destroying. Everybody in their way. They got to beat Michigan next week in the big house. That's going to be a massive game. You've been there before, haven't you? I have been to the big house. It's it's a lot. I mean, that place is intimidating. 
Um, great bar on campus. Uh, David Silberman and I went to uh, uh, visit. I spent way too much money in the University of Michigan team store. Uh, so that was, you know, interesting. Shocker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Ohio State, Ohio State played – who did they play? Michigan State. Oh, Michigan State. Uh, it's a, one of my uh, best uh, – one of my very good friends, Brian McClure, my apologies, on State. Uh, that's a tough game, man. I mean, Ohio State's good. Ohio State's really good. I mean, are the, is Ohio State University of Houston good? No. But they're close. <laughs> you know, they're, they're close. They are. Jo- Austin makes a good point. Georgia's easily the favorite this year. Georgia – Georgia's legit. Like, I don't know if anybody's going to beat Georgia. I really don't. And that's why everybody's talking about they want to see Cincinnati get into the playoff. Cincinnati would lose by two-plus touchdowns to to Georgia by far. I think Cincinnati would be outclassed by any of the other three teams. That's not saying they're not good. I'm just saying. They're a very good team. Like, predict your prediction, final final four, who's it going to be? Georgia won. Uh, Ohio State to man, I gotta tell you, I honestly see. Actually, let me back that up. I think Alabama beats Georgia in the SEC title game. Okay, I'm not betting against Nick Saban on a shot because if he loses that game, they're out of the playoff. I'm gonna bet on Nick Saban as much as I hate Nick Saban. So my four is gonna be Alabama, Georgia, Ohio State. I think U of H beat Cincinnati in the AAC title game which opens the door if Oklahoma can win the Big 12. I think Oklahoma could possibly get in. So, yeah, that's my four, is I'm going to say uh, OU, Alabama, Georgia, and Ohio State. I also think that's, that makes for the most compelling playoff. So, yeah, I'll call my shot now on, on all of that taking place. I don't know if Oklahoma's going to get in. With I don't know if they'll beat Baylor in the Big 12. Well, they also have to get past Oklahoma State next week. Uh, and Austin says, I'll bet with you on Georgia versus Bama. I'll take Georgia. Feels like every time I make a bet with Austin Barber, I lose. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to steer way clear of that one. Yeah, because our boy Austin, you know, takes the gravy training team. Oh, I'll take the favorite. No problem. Well, I mean, I would want some points in that matchup. Love you, Austin. Uh, let's talk a little bit of Houston Astros locally. They were in the news this week. We haven't had a chance to talk about uh, one Justin uh, Big Daddy Verlander coming back to town That's for right. another year. People, okay, here's one thing that I will never understand is fans who get upset about money being spent by their team on players. Like, why does it matter? It's not your money. Who cares? Like, what do you, who cares if you give Justin Verlander 20 million, 25 million? Who cares? It's not our money. What do y'all care? I do like the fact that the Yankees gave him the same offer, and he picked us. I love Justin Verlander. I love – first of all, the fact that they get him back, for Astros fans that have already forgotten, the Astros lost this past World Series because they didn't have enough pitching. Justin Verlander is a legit number one without doubt. They were talking about on the Matt Thomas show this past week when the news broke. Let me ask you this before I tell you what they said. Who starts opening day if you're the Astros? Justin Verlander. It's not even a question. They were debating whether it's him or whether it's Lance McCullers Jr. No, it'll be. It's not even close. I don't think McCullers will pitch third. I think Framber follows Verlander. Then no. You, then you got no. McCullers. If you know what, God forbid, Yao Ming McCullers can stay healthy for a full year. That was funny. Did you think about that all yourself? It took me a while, but yes. Okay. No, McCullers is, is second. You you don't set you don't have your eighteen million dollar man pitching third. That, no, that doesn't make any sense, dude. I you pitch him second. It really doesn't matter. In all honesty, okay. Who pitches second or third? But but you're gonna throw McCullers second. You're not throwing McCullers third. Okay. Allegedly, it's not alleged. Don't say okay if you have something else beyond that to say. No, I think they're gonna go out and get another uh, another starting pitcher. Interesting that you say that because as of today. Uh, are you a Marcus Stroman fan? Uh, pitcher, most recently of the New York Mets, uh, went to Twitter. Uh, here's a shock. A guy is going to Twitter uh, to express how he's feeling about something. 
Uh, he did say that he, I think the Astros, the Red Sox, the Padres, a couple other teams, he gave all of those teams legit shout outs for how much love he's feeling from those fan bases. So it looks like the Houston Astros are in on Marcus Stroman, which means I'm in on Marcus Stroman. Dean, I didn't even know that. So I'm, I'm so far ahead of everybody. It's amazing. No, you're behind everybody is what you mean. Uh, we do want to take a moment here on the Beer Sports Whatever episode, the oh-so-fine episode 169. Wow. Uh, to say, uh, rest in peace, Julio Lugo. Yes, 45 years old, had a heart attack. Great shortstop. Loved me some Julio Lugo on the Astros. He was a, he was a badass. He had a chip on his shoulder. I don't know how many podcasts are giving shout-outs to Julio Lugo this week, but we pour one out to you. Mr. Julio Logo, Julio Lugo, May he rest Astros in peace. legend. May he rest in and, peace. And speaking of rest in peace, um, I think a lot of Astro fans, including Austin Barber, is probably pretty, pretty down about the fact that we traded Garrett Stubbs. Yeah, Garrett Stubbs, again, uh, another one pouring out for uh, legend Garrett Stubbs of the Houston Astros. Yep. Um. <laughs> Carlos Correa was in town this week. He had lunch with a uh, one AJ Hinch at something called Milk and Cookies or something here in town. I know, I know you, I know the answer to this. But how much stock do you put into two guys having lunch together who clearly have a history together here in town? What What are your thoughts on that? Who, who do you think picked up the check? Ooh, that's a good one. Okay. Before I answer that, well, okay. If the owner of Milk and Cookies just so happened to be there, like somebody texted him and was like, hey, we know you're an Astros fan. You need to get here now. It may have been comped as a, a gesture towards Carlos to stay with the Astros. Uh, my guess is, is that Hinch picked up the check. Or he should. Okay. What do you think? I mean, I don't know how he could turn down an offer if he can be the spokesperson for milk and cookies. I mean, how do you, how do you come close to that? What's your favorite cookie? Wow. That's, I'm going to have to say. This is about a 45 minute show. So I really don't know if you need. I think I'm going to have to go with Malamars. What the hell is a Malamar? Oh, yeah, no. There's no outside, way. marshmallow inside. It sounds disgusting. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Austin wants to know, do they make a Heath Bar cookie? Uh, Ooh, no, Austin. Correa wow. in Detroit is the best case scenario right now. I, I just, I don't know, man. For like, who? Women, for who? The Astros. Why? Because if you're the Astros, like he ends up in Detroit, they're not contending next season. Like it beats him going to the Dodgers. It beats him going to the Yankees. Like if, okay, if Carlos Correa goes to the Yankees, he's officially villain number one on my list or goes to the Dodgers, like one of those two places, because everything he said was crap then. Well, what about like it was all just lip service? Fans say? How about every time he came to play, to, he came to bed, the Dodger fans rode him like Roy Rogers rode Trigger. What, all of a sudden now because he gets traded, he, he didn't cheat? Come on, hypocrites, hypocritical. But that's what we are. That's what we are as a society. Everyone who wanted to boo the Astros during the Red Sox series was the most hypocritical thing I think I have ever laid my eyes on. Because they literally, they have their manager who was the ringleader of the entire thing. That's right. We're, not gonna, we're, we're done talking about that because that's four years plus. I'm just that. saying, I think we're it's done hypocritical with that, that every time one of our guys hits free agency, teams can't wait to sign them. <clears throat> George Springer, Garrett Cole. Watch right. this. Both watch this on the couch in the World Series this year. Facts. So, yeah, yeah I no. said it. No, you're 100. percent Okay, so if you had to bet money on, I, if you and I had to put our our money together, and after buying all this stuff behind me, I still have very little of it. <laughs> where does Correa? Like, if you had to put money on it, where is Correa going? Top two picks. You get no. You get one. Where is he going? Houston. See, I'm getting that feeling too that I think he's staying. I think I think Crane comes with a massive offer last second, and he stays. I just I I have that weird feeling. I get Detroit 
because of Hinge, but two things. You got to live in Detroit. There, well, that's the second thing. First no, offense, thing. no offense. We have family there. I love Detroit. Lloyd and I, David. Yeah. Mindy, Alan, everybody. They're, they're, they're about three years away, which will put Correa over 30. Second of all, living in Detroit. Sorry. No state income tax here. He's got his guys here. Like, he doesn't strike me as a guy that talks just to talk. When he says something, I think he means it, and he wants to run it back here. He wants to be here. He was shown on Snapchat. Somebody sent him and his wife. You know, his wife wasn't busy, you know, breaking his ribs during a massage. Um, Somebody sent him a baby gift. He's wearing Astros stuff as of this week. It's been certified that that is legit. I don't think he's leaving. I think signing Verlander is is huge. I do too. I so you asked me if I put my money. I'm I'm putting it on the Astros. Uh, you know what? You're good to do that. Uh, if anybody out there is watching every Rockets game like I have for the past 16 <laughs> games, you're probably uh, well. <laughs> you might be drinking more, uh, which is not a good thing. I would say uh, you're probably a little bit more irritated on a daily basis, which I don't think is good for you. The Rockets are awful. If you're not watching the Rockets, you're really not missing all that much. You're not missing anything. The only thing you're missing is poor coaching. You're missing a coach that has no clue on um, how to run a rotation. And he's lost. He's totally lost in year number two. Well, that sums up the Rockets aspect of the show. And I get Uh it. He got... He got hoodwinked last year. He thought he was coming here to coach Harden, Westbrook, and Covington. I get it, okay? We're in year number two. We're fixing to have our second 20-game losing streak in the last two years. I I, I find that unacceptable as a fan, as an owner. You know, that's it. I feel better. Austin wants to get into hockey. Who should he root for? Either the uh, Ducks or the Red Wings are the teams that uh, we are the official, unofficial podcast for. Who's the The, Blue Notes? uh, I think that's the Blues. The St. Louis Blues, I believe. Um, Let's give a little bit of credit to the Houston Texans. Wow. Went out and got a win today over the Tennessee Titans. We did watch that game. In Tennessee. You got to give them credit, man. The first the first seed, the overall seed in the AFC, they go into Tennessee and they win. It's impressive. They actually look decent today. Good for the Texans, man. I'm happy for the fans to get a win. I know there's a lot of people out there that have accused me of hating the Texans. <laughs> Caroline Rowland, uh, <laughs> Alex Brown. Uh, I don't hate the Texans. I really don't. It's fun to watch them lose and hear local sports radio just continue to lose their mind over what is a terrible coaching staff. But I do feel terrible for the fans. And you and I talked about this today because the Miami Dolphins did get their third win in a row today, baby. We're coming but, back. Here we come. I'm telling you, four and one or uh, four and seven for the Dolphins. But I'm happy for the Texans because I know that there's thousands of fans out there, not only that are Texans fans. But if you're a fan of an NFL team that won this week, where you hopefully have a short work week because of the holiday, work doesn't seem as crazy. Like, it's a good feeling to start the week with a te- with your team winning, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Absolutely. So congrats to the Houston Texans fans for getting a win this week. Congrats to S- Sports 610. Those guys will be even more annoying than they normally are this week. A uh, quick miscellaneous note before we get to the real subject of the show, which is Thanksgiving 2021. Miscellaneous, wow. Uh, Florida fired Dan Mullen today. Thus far, before even before the season is over, think about this. Florida, LSU, and USC are all open jobs right now in college football. And you know? That's bananas. Those and apples. They might not be. Right this second, playing well. But, you know, those are three jobs that have been very prestigious for a long time. Those are blue blood jobs. They are. And you got to think, if James Franklin leaves uh, Penn State for one of those three jobs, Penn State then jumps into that mix of Penn State being open. 
So a lot of interesting stuff going on with college football right now. Uh, all right. My favorite holiday of the year takes place this week. Thanksgiving. Is that your favorite holiday? What is your favorite holiday? And by the way, if you're watching the show, text everybody that you know, because this is going to be some of the most podcast fun we have ever had in our entire life I, on I think this it, show. It's a toss-up between uh, uh, Purim and probably Sukkot. Okay. First of all, you don't even know what Purim is, and you don't know what Sukkot is either. Yeah, I know what Purim is. I don't think, I don't think we you We have the Groggers st- and Haman and stuff like that. Okay. Well, before we get this segment started, congrats, Austin. Jimbo's locked up at A&M. So you can continue to go seven and five and eight and four with all these great recruiting classes that you have. Sorry, not sorry. Um, Okay, my favorite holiday is... I am halfway joking, Austin, because in all honesty, I would love to have Jimbo Fisher at U of H, so I'm just jealous. I'm more jealous, believe me. Uh, I I guess my favorite holiday is... It would have to be Thanksgiving as well. It's Thanksgiving. Food, family, football. I mean, family, eh, give or take. But, I mean, the food and the football. And speaking of the food, we've always been a turkey family. Have you ever thought or considered to move us to a ham family? Ham? Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, I'm just curious. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people out there that enjoy a ham. I'd rather throw steaks on the grill than have ham for Thanksgiving. Why? You don't like ham? What's wrong with ham? It's ham. It's... It's, You're against it. Wait, so how, why do you hate ham? No, ham is made to be on a sandwich with mayonnaise and cheese, lettuce and tomato. What? Yes. None of that sounds appetizing. It's very good. Okay. Um, what's your favorite side at Thanksgiving? Wow. Either I got to give my beautiful wife credit on her amazing kugel. I mean, kugel's crazy good. But I okay, would don't to, get into kugel because not everybody knows what kugel like traditional. I'm talking about traditional sides here. I'd say the the marshmallows on top of the sweet potatoes. That's not a side. Sweet potatoes are a side. Oh, you're talking about like a sweet potato casserole. Yeah. Okay. No, that, I mean that's fair. Um, you got to go with the. I, see, as I've gotten older, I appreciate the green bean casserole. Only if you put the crunchy things on top. The crunchy, the crispy onion strings. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, then, yeah, you're 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 right on there. Um, by the way, just as a surprise, you and I, I haven't even told you this, we are going to do a special podcast on Thanksgiving Day. Nobody else is going live. We are going to be together. We are going to do like an early podcast recording on Thursday to get into everything Thanksgiving. So this is just a little taste of what's going to go on Thursday. Are you in for a Thursday or a Thanksgiving? version of the show it's it's thanksgiving foreplay i'm in oh okay that's just really awkward um so we're going to be back with you guys thursday night we're going to keep it short and sweet tonight everybody has to get ready for work this week we love y'all thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of beer sports whatever we will be back thursday morning at uh time to be determined yes sometime between 10 and 11 we will go live so we can help the browns cook up our favorite meal of the year once again this has been episode 169 of beer sports whatever bsw is beyond proud to be on the uh podcast platform of around the block make sure to follow around the block on twitter and on facebook follow me on twitter at bsw podcast underscore mv until next time question one question what so once thanksgiving is over and it's officially christmas what's the first movie people are going to watch. Die hard, baby! (laughs) See y'all Thursday morning. Y'all have a great week. It is 8.55. OU still sucks. The Astros are still and forever will be your 2017 World Series champions. Out.